Hello folks, welcome to another video from Project Reboot. Doing a build today, Jack's doing a build. Jack's bought a whole load of new components, so what we'll do is we'll run through one of those, but one of the items is not new. Very, very old actually. So, what have we got then, Jack? We've got Fractal Design S24 all-in-one water cooler, which is 240 mil. Yep. The MSI uh, RX Vega 64. Lovely. I think we might have shown a little sneak pre preview of that before, hadn't we? Up a the, bit. The MSI B450 mortar motherboard. Okay. Is that micro RTA? Micro ATX, yeah. yeah. The Ryzen 5 3600 processor. Mm, okay, well, I'll have a zoom in on that one. There it is. Careful, noise, you might get a bit hot. Oh. You see, Bernie's over there. You prefer Intel, and you've converted me to Intel. I do, Bernie. However, they say things have moved on we'll in the see. Ryzen world. We'll see. Everything has risen. risen. <laughs> in, right, let's go. So, um,. We got Next, yeah. a 2x16 gigabyte kit of 3200 megahertz uh, Corsair Vengeance RAM. Two 16 gig sticks? Yep. Oh, oh big spender. Oh. DDR4. Right. DDR4, yeah. I can get, I can't, there we go. Right. We got Kingston 480 gig SSD. Yeah, good choice. A Seagate Firecuda 2 terabyte hybrid drive. Ooh. Has that got one of them little um, caching chips on yeah. it? Yeah, I think it's like 8 gig right. of cache. Just standard Western Digital 1 terabyte blue. Uh huh. And a Silverstone Strider Gold 750 watt fully modular gold power supply. Very nice. Right, well, that's all the new components, Jack. I'm going to take a walk back in time now, I believe. So you folks um, who regularly watch our channel will know that a few weeks ago um, we did strip down a PC that is now going to become Jack's PC. This is, what is it Jack? It's an Antec NSK something or other. Right, it's an old um, desktop case, I don't know, probably 15, 20, maybe 20 years old. Couldn't it? Yeah. Um, so basically, this is going to be a sleeper jack, isn't it? Yeah. Um, for you folks who don't know what a sleeper is, it's um, the contents of the PC um, does not reflect the outside. So it's an old PC, but new components. Right. So what's the order of execution here then, Jack? Let's have a quick look inside, shall we? There we are, folks. So it's very, very um, basic. Uh, he stripped everything out of that. Um, I'll put a link um, above, um, up there, from the video of us stripping that down and finding the contents of that. So let's get building, I think. Yeah. Uh, we're just thinking about the. Um, cooling situation it's got a front um, it's got a front tray here you pull that out Jack um, he sprayed this white it was originally a black case it's sprayed white now it has got a fan placement on there so it could be drawing it in but it is quite a small fan um, whether you'd hear that over the <laughs> over the RX Vega yeah. I'm not sure so yeah we'll, we'll go without it and maybe put it in later I don't know yeah. it's up to you Jack it's your build um, whatever you think's best so that's, is that a tray for the hard drive? Yeah, that will fit all the hard drives. All right. All right, we'll get some building going here. Oh, I never forgot the fans existed. Right, there's, um, there's a little, possibly a little bit of um, chink in the armory this morning. Um, the problem here is, potentially, I mean, we've just offered the motherboard up and the radiator um, and the clearance which you'll see here is about, I don't know, 10 mil? 
Not even that. Are we going to get the fans in? No. Oh dear. Right, there's um. What well, it and almost fits. Go there as well. So oh dear, there. Jack. Where's this video going? This is going to be a quick video. This is a. What What are you thinking, Jack? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, YouTubers? Uh, and that reminds me. It's a possible solution here, then, folks. Um, we could put the fans on the outside. That's blowing. That's blowing back in. So they'd have yeah. to be on the other way around, wouldn't they? Ah, uh, they don't work the other way. They. The blades clash. Oh, you have to put spacers then, Jack. We could put spacers on yeah. there, couldn't we? Oh no, what are we going to do? Right, there is another option, and that is to put the radiator on the bottom there. It has got some intakes, or some... Let's just lift that up, Jack. It has got some grills on the bottom, but it's very, very tight. And the other problem with this is... What's the problem with this, Jack? It completely blocks half of the motherboard's SATA ports. That only leaves you with two SATAs here, and you've got so you've got one M M.2 to go in there, and you've got three three drives. Yeah. So it's actually going to not be able to use all three. Um, I think this case. Or it might little be a non-starter, really. Yeah. Unless you put the fans here on the outside. Yeah, and then it kind of. Will looks it really? A bit bodged. It does and look a bit bodged. I don't know whether or not it says where these are raised. There's going to be a gap there, which will just pull air from instead of through the radiator, won't it? it yes. And you're going to have enough heat in there as it is with um. Yeah. With the Vega. So what are our options then, folks? This is a classic. Um, it's not a mistake, it's just that, you know, we try things, we learn things, and that things don't necessarily happen the way they should do. Um, so this is perhaps where our, our slogan comes in. The Daniel Rule. Test before commit. At least he hasn't put anything in there yet, really. All we've been doing is offering stuff up. Well, we've had a rummage amongst our shelves, and we found this. It's a Silverstone Grandia GD06 that is a similar size case, desktop size. It does take a micro ATX board, and uh, Bernie's just going to take that out and have a look at it. And um, we can do another offering up before we commit. Right, well, as you can see, folks, this is not rehearsed. This is live as it happens in the workshop. Today is Wednesday the 14th of August if you're enjoying watch this watching this fiasco today give us a thumbs up Bernie thumbs up thank you subscribe to our channel check out our Facebook page there it is right there tell us where you are in the world always good to read that out of Mongolia Yes, all over. All over. We're in. We're in. Ooh. That's what sort of all dry is. We're in, folks. Well, it's, um... Offer the motherboard up when we've got into it, and then we'll see where the rad's going. Blades clash. Blades clash. We're on to case number three. This is um, a Corsair Obsidian 550D that we've had, well, sat outside for a while. Um, it's a big tower case. The initial um, um, thought was Jack wanted something small to take to college with him, uh, university I should say. Um, this is going to be the size of his car I think. But things will fit. Well, if they don't fit in this, yeah, there we are. 
So this is case number three now. Um, the silver stone was no good, it had the same problems. So we'll have a look in this one. Well folks, this is case number three, much bigger. Um, so the radiators presumably are going to go on top. Uh, offer up your um, so yes, board. as Bernie says, offering up. There we go. Right, and then. Definitely got room for fans, I'd say. I can't see oodles of space, I reckon. Plenty of space there. Oh well, as you'd expect. Huggy's in today. Hello, Huggy. Hi, mate. Right, uh, where are we then, Jack? Uh, we're going to put the CPU in so that it stays out the way for now and then sort out the cooler standoffs. All right, let's recap. What's what CPU we got to be putting in here? Verizon 5 3600. Okay, how many cores and threads is that? Six thingy? core, 12 thread with a 3.6 base and a 4.2 turbo. Okay, all right. So I normally do Intel sockets, but um, Jack has confidence in the AMD stuff. There it is. Ryzen 3 series. Nice. Does the heat pump heat at the red go on there uh, now or it's not, got, then, Jack? We've got to install the standoffs, which are somewhere in this box. Okay. So are we happy with the case selection now, are we? Yeah. Good. So the IO's in there. <clears throat> right, there we are. We'll come back soon, folks. Where are we then, Jack? We're offering up the motherboard. Okay. And it goes. There we go. IO Shield docked, is it? Let's have yep. a look at that. There it is, folks. What board is it? It's a the MSI mortar. Oh. B450 M. B450 mortar. Right. So the standoffs for the um, the uh, heatsink are on, ready to receive the block. Well, so Jack's installed the um, fans on the radiator, and the rad is being offered up. Thank you, Bernie. Right, the radiator is in. So, um, what's next then, Jack? Uh, mount the CPU cooler to well, the CPU block to the CPU. Does the um, does the RAM fit? Uh, just about. Which slots has the RAM got to go in? You only got two sticks, haven't you? Yeah. Where's the book? Oh, only oh, just the, fits, it's on it? the motherboard. Only just. It's about one mil to spare. One mil to spare. Makes you wonder whether they designed these cases with fans in mind, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a bit too. It's a bit too close to be a sort of design. A two and B two. Deliberately. The at the bottom. Yeah. Right. What are you doing, Jack? Putting the thermal paste on the CPU. And what were we using? We're using a tube of Arctic MX four. Okay, and that came with. No, I bought that extra. Ah. So you're not using our um, stock gunk? No. Fine, fair enough. There we go. Nice big splodge. Go shopping. The heat block is on. Um, 
heat block is on, so it's coming together. What's next then, Jack? I think RAM next. 6 MP RAM, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. So, um, install. Do we want to explain why it's going in slot, slot 2 and slot 4, and not slot 1 and 3? Um, the motherboard has a little helpful marker there, which says that the first RAM you install goes into the slot here and slot there. Mm hmm And... Go on then, Bernie. Is it something to do with... Because it's dual... Dual channel. Dual channel, and they've set it so it goes... The dual channel was preferred on slot 2 and 4, as we found out on my system this week, when I put the RAM in slot 2 and 4, Heaven Benchmark jumped up, didn't it? It did. Yes. did make a difference. Right. Might have to remove that one screw from the fan. Right, well there's another problem folks. Um, as you know when we do our builds, there's always things going wrong. And it turns out that this screw on the fan, this screw down here on the fan, actually gets in the way of the round sticks. Oh, what are we going to do? Take a screw out I suppose. Yeah. Take the motherboard out again maybe, I don't know. Hold on, Bernie. Another one. Another one. There we go. Perfectly executed. Right, now, there's been some progress. So the power supply is in. So it's a modular. Silverstone. 750 watt, fully modular. Let's trace the um, cables through. Because we did get a comment on one of our videos that they do like to see cable management. <laughs> Um, it's a work in progress. It is a work in progress at the moment, but... Um, at least the, this one's nice. Yes, the case does have cable management um, features. It's just uh, spilling out of the bit. So maybe we'll come back to um, a before and after shot there. What's next? The graphics card. What are we going to be doing with the graphics card then, Jack? We're going to be offering it up. Oh, you play it. People are playing along at home. Going in there. Oh, that was easy. Mm -hmm. a nice clink, clunk. Nice clunk. That was easy. Oh, that noise. Well done. In one. Well, unlike a lot of our builds, we're actually ready for a starter even before lunchtime. It's all in. Um, where's the N.2, Jack? Uh, I don't have one at the minute. Just have a oh. two and a half inch. Oh yes, SSD of course. I've got the um. Three and a half inch drives. So. Right, they're all docked in there. Um, I did notice that this bottom one here, Jack. <laughs> um, you might need to replace that with yeah. a right angle because I don't think tight. you'll si get the side of the. Yeah. Or you move that one up here, move them yeah. all up one, and you've got a bit more room, haven't you? Anyway, um, so I think we're ready to um, move it onto the bench. Okay, so we're at the um, switch on stage. Everything connected? Yep. Ready, folks? Stand clear. Okay, we have a BIOS. Just turning XMP on. Uh, XMP is extreme memory profile to match the mem speed memory, which is 3200 megahertz. Um, and that'll be a restart now, I should think. Would be when it mashed all the icons together. Okay, we have a desktop, um, Jack's desktop. What's the theme here then, Jack? Uh, some Minecraft wallpaper. I don't think uh, wallpaper engines kicked in with the live wallpapers yet. Okay. There's no internet connected. Yeah. Um, so what are we doing? Drivers and stuff, are we? Uh, it's all installed. I'm just trying to find out where the shortcut for the 
AMD monitor and stuff's gone. The RGB's working. Oh, is it? Oh. 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 Well, there's your extra two frames a second, isn't it? Oh, nice orange. Very nice. Now, Jack has got an uh, MSI Airboost Vega 64 in there. We tested that uh, using an i5-4570 on Frankenrig with 8 gigs of uh, DDR3. Um, and that gave us uh, an FPS of 184, a score of 4,629. Um, and that puts the Vega, well, now fourth on our, board, on our list. So the question is, running it with i with the Ryzen, what is it? Ryzen 5 3600. Yes, in the new case. Faster does it, RAM. Fa yes, faster RAM. Does it make a difference, or is heaven only GPU bound? This will be an excellent test. See the temperature on, yeah. okay. and we should be able to see peak on what month. So we're going to run Cinebench. How many threads and cores, Jack? Six core, twelve thread. So it beat the 12 core Xeon. 1567. This ran Cinebench 20. And we got a CPU score of 3541. Um, there it is. All right, moving on to Heaven, uh, DX11. So we'll let that chug away, see what we come back with. We're expecting some um, good results here, I think. And some mild deafness. When Bernie when screams. The when the Vega ramps it. Oh, not when you're screaming, saying it's beaten mine. No, no, oh. I'm not worried about that. I've got over that now. Right, Vega 64, like air boost, air blower. Now that's the thing now, Jack, because you originally were going to build it into that Antec yeah. uh, and you were concerned about exhausting the, the uh, fumes. Different case, different situation. Hello? <laughs> Change gear then, isn't it? I, I don't think it will get louder than that. Yeah, folks, that's um, the air boost. Evan score of 202.8, um, 5107. Let's put those results into our chart. Well, we have an interesting result. The Airboost Vega 64 is now 203 in joint first place, whereas originally it was 184. So, that is conclusive that I thought Heaven was entirely um, GPU bound, but it turns out it's not. A much better CPU has given a much better score, and Bernie will confirm that because um, what was the story, Bernie? What with my video editing game rig? Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, well, what we did was we swapped the CPU over from an i5 6600 to an i7 6700. So the main difference is it's got extra four core threads, eight threads, yes. Eight threads, yes. Over the four four cores, four threads. Yeah. And after reading the manual, the two sticks of RAM that I had in there should have been in slot two and four. And we did that, put them in there, configured everything. Bob's your uncle, Maud's your aunt, and we got a better figure. We jumped up nineteen points. Yeah. 19 points. Well, we're drawing to a close. Um, 
the cable management situation here is that um, it is kind of just about there. Um, uh, Jack's not going to get excess, uh, obsessive about cable management. There we are. The case can do it quite well, though. Um, so we're just going to put the sides on and rerun some tests, make sure it is performing within temperature tolerances. And that will conclude today's video. Right folks, summing up, what are conclusions today then? Um, what have we learned today then Jack? Um, you should definitely check if your components fit before you get them all for your parts, for build. Yeah, I can think he's probably going to be doing um, a mod on that um, blower style card, maybe put a, a water block on it? Maybe. Maybe that's a job for the future. Hope you've enjoyed this bit of a chaotic video when I do the cutting on this one. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our Facebook page. There it is right there. Tell us where you are in the world. Please leave some comments. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio guys. I don't think it will get louder than that. I don't think it will get louder than that.